You're probably refreshing OpenAI's blog every day wondering when GPT 5.5 is dropping. Or maybe you've already seen those wild headlines claiming it'll never forget anything or have real-time reasoning. Well, I spent the last two weeks digging through every leak, report, and rumor out there, and I found something surprising. Most of what you've heard about GPT 5.5, it's pure speculation. But here's the thing. What's actually coming might be even more interesting. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to separate the confirmed facts from the wild rumors, show you what the leaked garlic project really tells us about GPT 5.5, and help you understand what this next model could actually mean for your workflow. By the end, you'll know exactly what to expect and what's just clickbait. First up, let's talk about where we are right now with GPT 5.2, because you can't understand what's coming next without knowing what we already have. GPT 5.2. Today, understanding the baseline. Before we dive into the GPT 5.5 mystery, we need to set the stage with what's real right now. GPT 5.2 is the current heavyweight champion, and OpenAI didn't hold back when they announced it in late 2025. They called it the most capable model series yet for professional knowledge work. And honestly, they weren't exaggerating. Here's what makes GPT 5.2 stand out. It's fundamentally better at the stuff that actually matters for getting work done. We're talking spreadsheets, presentations, coding, image understanding, and this is where it gets interesting. It can handle way more context than anything that came before it. OpenAI says their heavy users are now saving over 10 hours per week. Think about that for a second. 10 hours. That's more than a full workday back in your pocket every single week. The technical specs back this up too. GPT 5.2 set record scores on coding and math benchmarks, and it powers those new ChatGPT tools for spreadsheets and slides that everyone's been raving about. But here's the real kicker. It supports a 400,000 token context window. That means it can process roughly 300 pages of text at once without losing track of what's happening. That's like reading an entire novel in one go and remembering every detail. So that's our starting point. GPT 5.2 is already incredibly powerful already saving people massive amounts of time, and already pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. But the AI world never sits still, and the whispers about GPT 5.5 started almost immediately after GPT 5.2 launched. The GPT 5.5 mystery. What we actually know now, here's where things get murky. OpenAI hasn't officially announced GPT 5.5. Not a word. Not a press release. Nothing. Everything we know comes from leaks, reports, and let's be honest, a fair amount of speculation. But wait until you hear what those leaks reveal. The most credible information comes from reports about a project codenamed Garlic inside OpenAI. According to eWeek and several other outlets, OpenAI researchers have been quietly testing this next generation model, and it's apparently crushing the competition. Mark Chen, OpenAI's chief research officer, allegedly told colleagues that Garlic is outperforming Google's Gemini 3 and Anthropic's Opus 4.5 on coding and logic tasks. And here's the twist. Garlic is expected to be released as either GPT 5.2 or GPT 5.5 in early 2026. That's right. What we're calling GPT 5.5 might just be Garlic with a new name tag. So what does this leaked information actually tell us? Let me break down what seems credible versus what's just wishful thinking. First, the coding and reasoning focus. This part actually checks out across multiple sources. Garlic's big wins are apparently in software development and logical reasoning. Early internal benchmarks put it ahead of GPT 5.2 in coding and math challenges. If this is true, and that's still an if, GPT 5.5 could be a game changer for developers. Imagine having an AI pair programmer that's noticeably smarter than what you're using right now. Second, Efficiency improvements. One report mentions that Garlic was trained on a much smaller data set than GPT 4.5. Now this is interesting, 
because it suggests OpenAI is finding ways to make models more powerful without needing exponentially more data or computing power. Think about it. Same brain power, lower costs, faster responses. That's the holy grail of AI development right there. But here's where we need to pump the brakes. Some of the rumors floating around are, to put it mildly, over the top. There's talk about dynamic inference pathways for real-time chain of thought reasoning. There are claims about a 512,000 token context window. Some articles are calling it the AI that never forgets, claiming it'll support multi-hour conversations with perfect memory of everything you've ever discussed. Let me be crystal clear here. None of that is confirmed. Zero. These are tech bloggers and enthusiasts letting their imaginations run wild. Could some of these features show up? Maybe. But right now, they're just educated guesses at best and pure fiction at worst. When could GPT 5.5 actually drop? Let's talk timing, because this is where the pressure on OpenAI becomes really apparent. According to industry reports, there's a race happening right now. Google just launched Gemini 3. Anthropic has clawed pushing boundaries. And OpenAI is reportedly in what some are calling code red mode. The timeline that keeps appearing in these reports points to early 2026. Multiple sources cite the same window, Q1 2026 specifically. Sam Altman has apparently put ChatGPT development into overdrive, and Mark Chen's leaked comments suggest garlic should arrive by early 2026. That's just months away. But here's the reality check. OpenAI hasn't confirmed any of this. Not the name, not the date, not even the existence of Garlic as a public-facing model. There's even a possibility they might skip GPT-5.5 entirely and jump straight to calling the next model GPT-6. We've seen companies do stranger things with version numbers. So what's the smart bet? Based on the pattern of leaks and the competitive pressure, early 2026 seems plausible. But until OpenAI makes an official announcement, every date you see is just an educated guess. Treat all timelines as tentative. GPT 5.5 vs GPT 5.2 The real differences. All right, let's get into what everyone really wants to know. If GPT 5.5 drops, how will it actually be different from what we have now? Let's compare them across the dimensions that matter most. Starting with performance and reasoning, and this is where the garlic leaks become really interesting. GPT 5.2 already set new benchmarks for coding and knowledge work. It's genuinely impressive. But if the leaked benchmarks are accurate, GPT 5.5 could push those numbers even higher, especially in complex logic puzzles, advanced math, and software development. Some rumors talk about the model being able to show its work in real time or catch its own errors mid-response. Now that would be something, but again, speculation alert. These advanced reasoning features might not materialize at all. Speed and efficiency is the next big question mark. If OpenAI really did train Garlic on less data while maintaining or improving performance, that's huge. It could translate to faster response times and lower costs per query. GPT 5.2 is already pretty quick, but imagine getting the same quality answers in half the time. That's the kind of improvement that changes how you use AI in your daily workflow. Context length is interesting because GPT 5.2 already has that massive 400,000 token window. Some analysts think GPT 5.5 will push this even further. One industry commentator predicts longer context with better search integration. The wildest claims go up to 512,000 tokens, but let's be real. Even if they don't hit that number, any increase means you can feed it more information at once. Entire code bases, full research papers, complete project histories, all processed without breaking them into chunks. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, safety and alignment. GPT 5.2 launched with better guardrails than GPT 4. Fewer hallucinations, more honest responses. That was the promise. But here's what actually happened. Users immediately started finding problems. The community complained about failures. AI safety experts warned it still hallucinates. Gary Marcus, who's become the unofficial skeptic-in-chief of AI hype, 
called it overhyped and underwhelming. So what about GPT 5.5? OpenAI is clearly taking safety seriously. There's this new confessions experiment where they're trying to get GPT-5 to self-report when it's breaking rules. That's a step in the right direction. But the reality is, after the mixed reception of GPT-5, trust is low. The community is going to scrutinize GPT-5.5's safety features intensely. We all want it to be better, but the proof will be in the actual performance, not the marketing materials. Multimodal abilities round out the comparison. GPT 5.2 handles text and images pretty well, with some audio capabilities mixed in. But here's what it didn't do. It didn't revolutionize image generation or add video understanding at launch. Some people were disappointed by that. For GPT 5.5, the expectations are mixed. There's chatter about improved vision and text understanding, maybe better image comprehension. But any major new capabilities like video generation will probably come in separate specialized models, not baked into the main GPT-5.5 release. So what's the bottom line here? GPT-5.5 will likely be an evolution, not a revolution. Think bigger, more refined engine rather than a completely new vehicle. Better coding, sharper reasoning, maybe more context, but not a magical solution to every AI limitation. And until we see it in action, even these expectations are educated guesses at best. What this means for you. Let's get practical. Strip away all the technical jargon and benchmarks. What will GPT 5.5 actually mean for how you work and create? If you're using AI for productivity and the rumors hold true, you're looking at an even bigger time saver than GPT 5.2. Companies are already reporting that GPT-5.2 shaves hours off their work week. If GPT-5.5 handles more complex tasks with less hand-holding, that number could grow. Imagine feeding it an entire project at once instead of breaking it into pieces. Imagine getting better answers to research questions without multiple follow-up prompts. That's the kind of workflow improvement that compounds over time. For developers, this could be huge. GPT 5.2 is already OpenAI's strongest coding model to date, and developers love it. But if Garlic really does outperform Gemini 3 in coding like those internal benchmarks suggest, we're talking about an AI pair programmer that can debug larger code bases, generate more complete code snippets, and navigate complex repositories without losing context. It could genuinely lower the barrier for non-coders to build functional applications and automate their workflows. Creative professionals are in an interesting spot. Writers, designers, content creators already lean on GPTs for brainstorming and first drafts. A smarter GPT 5.5 could mean richer suggestions, fewer factual errors, and better maintenance of style and themes across long projects. If the memory improvements are real, and that's still a big if, you might have an AI collaborator that actually remembers your preferences and past discussions without you constantly reminding it. But here's the honest truth for everyday users. Unless OpenAI also upgrades the interface and user experience, daily interactions might not feel dramatically different. You might notice it's a bit sharper, a bit more coherent on complex topics. It might follow multi-step instructions better but revolutionary, probably not for casual use. For the AI enthusiasts and early adopters watching this video, you're going to be all over GPT 5.5 the moment it drops. The community loves testing new models, pushing them to their limits, finding the edge cases. But after the mixed feelings around GPT 5, there's going to be healthy skepticism. Every claim will be double checked. Every leak will be verified against reality. And honestly, that's exactly how it should be. What the experts are saying. We need to talk about the community reaction because the AI world has learned some hard lessons about hype versus reality. On the official side, OpenAI has been messaging around empowering professionals. They've quoted enterprise partners saying GPT 5.2 shows state-of-the-art long horizon reasoning and tool calling performance. Companies like Notion and Databricks are publicly praising it. But notice what's missing. 
Any official word about GPT-5.5? Radio silence. Meanwhile, the competitive pressure is real and public. Sam Altman reportedly declared Code Red after Google's Gemini 3 launch. This tells us OpenAI is feeling the heat. Some people see this as a red flag. Maybe they'll rush GPT-5.5 and it won't live up to expectations. Others see it as a commitment to innovation and staying ahead of the pack. The truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Here's where it gets interesting with the expert commentary. Gary Marcus, who's become famous for calling out AI overpromising, warned that GPT-5 was overhyped and underwhelming. He and other researchers pointed out that GPT-5 made many of the same mistakes as earlier models, hallucinations, logic errors, confidently wrong answers. The AI ethics community has been raising safety questions with every new release. So far, there's been no specific expert commentary on GPT-5.5 because it's too early. But based on the current mood, expect cautious optimism at best. The message from experts seems to be, show us the receipts. Progress isn't guaranteed just because there's a new version number. And then there's the rumor mill, which has absolutely run wild. Tech bloggers are inventing features wholesale. There are articles about show your work reasoning that sound amazing, but have zero confirmation. People are speculating on names, GPT-50, GPT-5X, GPT-5.5. On Reddit, users are even asking ChatGPT to predict its own future features, and the AI happily plays along with things like improved emotional responses and personal memory. It's interesting as a cultural phenomenon, but it's not evidence of anything. Remember what happened with GPT-5's launch? The hype was massive. The reality was good, but not transformative. Many users felt let down, not because the model was bad, but because expectations had been set impossibly high. The lesson here is clear. Hype can outpace reality by a mile, and we've all learned to be more skeptical. Let's bring this home. What have we actually learned after cutting through all the noise? Officially, almost nothing concrete about GPT-5.5 exists yet. We know GPT-5.2 is powerful, with massive context and strong coding abilities. We have credible rumors about a garlic project that could boost reasoning, coding, and maybe context size even further. We have industry sources pointing to an early 2026 release window, but we also know the AI community has learned to be cautious. We've seen everything from GPT-5.5 will never forget anything, to it will reason in real time, in headlines. These make great clickbait, but none of it is confirmed. Here's my honest take. Treat all detailed claims about GPT-5.5 as speculation until OpenAI makes an official announcement. The safest bet is incremental improvement, bigger context, better coding assistance, tighter reasoning, built on what they're calling the garlic project. OpenAI might roll it out quietly like they did with GPT-4.5, or they might rebrand it as GPT-6 to move past the mixed feelings around GPT-5. We genuinely don't know yet. What we do know is that the race is heating up. Google has Gemini 3. Anthropic has Claude. OpenAI can't afford to fall behind. That competitive pressure will drive innovation, but it might also lead to overpromising. My advice? Stay curious, but grounded. When you see a wild headline about GPT-5.5, check the source. If it's coming from a tech blog citing industry insiders or analysts predict, take it with a massive grain of salt. Wait for official announcements, early reviews from trusted sources, and actual hands-on testing. The AI space moves fast and rumors spread faster, but the only opinions that really matter are from people who've actually used the model. Everything else is just noise. We'll keep you updated as soon as anything concrete drops from OpenAI. Until then, keep using the tools we have, keep pushing them to their limits, and keep that healthy skepticism alive. Because in AI, as in life, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Thanks for watching. If this helped you separate fact from fiction, hit that like button. Drop a comment if you have questions, or if you've seen rumors we didn't cover and subscribe so you don't miss the update when GPT 5.5 actually launches.
See you in the next one.